Hey, what's up? In this video, we're gonna go through five ways to create uh, wavy lines in After Effects. I'll go through them briefly and quickly, and in separate videos, I'll go through them in detail step by step. So in this first example, I'm using a wave walk effect and just animating the face, having expressions on the face. So you can play around with the, the settings. So the second example I am using, uh, this is a repeater. This is a whole bunch of repeating shapes, uh, repeating lines. So just to show briefly, okay, first using the zigzag, and then we have another repeater, and another repeater, and another repeater, and another repeater, and then we animate it left and right. And then we put it on the main comb here, rotate it with the continuously rasterize. Next one, we have a wiggly path. Sounds like jiggly path, but no. Okay, so wiggly path on a stroke. Again, I am only playing around with the temporal and the spatial face to get my movement. I'm not using wiggles per second. Size at about however much you want, detail at 100. My points is still at corner. Correlation at 99%. So this is what I get. Kind of an organic fluid uh, wave. So the next example, I have a displacement map. A displacement map on a beam. So let me open up this displacement map. We are using the colorama. Okay, wait, let me break this down. We have a gradient map first followed by a colorama colorama you can use a cycle cycle repetitions and then you animate the face shift i'm using a solarized gray here to get these gray bands and then i have a fast box blur to smoothen it out so that it's uh, not zigzag lines and then this is my main comp here i have the displacement displacement map here displacement map followed by vegas so i'm using vegas to make the line more consistent because you can see because of displacement we have this thick and thin strokes depending on the depending on where it is lah. so vegas kinds of kind of helps to make it a smoother line if it doesn't help uh, you can use a, a blur and a choke Blow on the vertical and a choke. So this is the same thing. Another example here. So in this example, I have a wiggle now that goes up and down, up and down from left to right. So separate the dimensions and animate uh, X from left to right, Y to wiggle. And I have a solid with a right on. My solid is twice the comp width, twice the comp width, and then I'm just going to let the animation run for the first part and I'm only using the second part of my comp duration. Once I have the write on for the first part of the comp, then I start my animation which by by now I can move my my solid from right to left and then get this effect, this look. So you can extend it however long you want. I just need it to start start here first. So the right on effect takes the position, the brush position from the now object. And then whatever you want, you can create, you can use other, uh, other ways of creating your line as well. Probably a sine wave, a cosine wave, uh, or just creating a path. In my next few videos, I will create a step-by-step -step for each of these methods. Trying out this new, this way of doing, maybe you are, you are already familiar with After Effects, you are looking for new ideas. Or, or maybe you are not so familiar with After Effects and you want a step-by-step -step detailed breakdown of how to do certain things. So whichever works for you.